boy. You're probably wondering how we got here. Well, we buy most of our Lego secondhand because it's a lot cheaper. However, you end up getting a lot of fake Lego mixed in there sometimes. For most people, that's no problem at all, but we're kind of Lego purists around here, so we absolutely hate this kind of stuff. They're plastered with ugly logos, they don't quite fit right on official pieces, they have this just cheap feeling to them, and worst of all, you can tell them apart from real Legos from a mile away in a mock. So in this video, we're gonna try and get rid of this entire entire bag using our top 10 ways to destroy fake Lego. Starting off with number 10, donating. We've done this with some of our Flego in the past, that's fake Lego by the way. However, the reason this is at the bottom of the list is because unlike the warm, fuzzy feeling you get from most charitable work, you actually feel kind of bad for unloading this stuff onto some poor unknowing sap. I don't want to subject anyone to this trash, especially if they're going to get it mixed up with a Lego collection of their own. If you're donating Flego to someone who has absolutely nothing through something like Operation Christmas Child, that would really be the way to do it. For a lot of these kids, this is their first time ever getting a Christmas present, so they'll be ecstatic with anything. That being said, they really deserve better than this. So just donate some of your official bricks, you Scrooge. And if you're leaving them on the side of the road, or even worse, re-gifting, don't even get me started on re-gifting, just shame on you. Let's start to ramp things up with number nine acid vaporization. What better way to get rid of something than Thanos snapping it out of thin air using a highly corrosive acid? This particular acid vaporized an entire hot dog in 60 seconds. So imagine what it could do to cheap, ugly plastic. I can't stress the ugly enough. Well, you're gonna have to imagine it. I obviously don't have access to such a dangerous acid, so the best we have today is vinegar. Now I don't expect this to do much, but I could be wrong. Okay, no. Yeah, this is the reason this method isn't higher on my list. We'll give it some time and see if it does anything later on, but like I said, I don't have very high hopes for this one. For now, let's move on to... Number 8, Vacuum Cleaners. It's always the worst when you're vacuuming carpet and you hear this sound. Blocks can sometimes get buried in really deep carpet especially, so even if you've made sure the floor is completely picked up, you can still get an occasional straggler. Now, you can always open up the vacuum bag to retrieve the pieces, but... What if you didn't? What if you purposely dumped a whole bag of Flego on the floor and just... <sighs> yeah, these things suck. I tried to only use a bunch of rounder pieces here because I can imagine a bunch of sharp corners wouldn't be the best for our 20 year old vacuum cleaner. And speaking of things that aren't very sharp, let me introduce you to our living vacuum cleaner, Roscoe. Roscoe Vacuum! This guy inhales virtually any food set in front of him within seconds. And this can lead to problems. We've accidentally dropped Lego near the vicinity of dog food or treats in the past, and they were gone pretty much instantaneously. It's actually a good thing these pieces didn't have any sharp edges either, because just like with a vacuum cleaner, that couldn't have been healthy inside of his body. Oh, and I shouldn't have to say this, but please don't purposely feed your pet's Lego, even if it's fake, or really anything that's not edible for that matter. Especially if it's a smaller animal that's more likely to choke on it. Roscoe here is much too precious to risk him getting sick or worse. So we'll have to find another way to dispose of our remaining supply. Like with... Number seven, hammer time. Okay, this is just plain fun. All you gotta do is grab a hammer, find a sturdy and reasonable surface to put your Flego on, and just go to town. If I'm being honest, the whole video could have just been this, and it would've been super satisfying. More so for us than for you, but for the sake of variety, let's try incorporating some other elements from our toolbox. We can use nails, pliers, just smack it really hard with a shovel, a, a screwdriver, I guess. Yeah, that, that'll work. <laughs> and a saw. But that didn't actually work, so we just used pruning shears instead. Wow, this was way more successful than I was expecting. But I think we can amp things up a notch with... Number six, power tools. Now we're talking. But before we can get to that, let's check back on how our acid vaporization is going. All right, never mind. take it away. We weren't exactly sure how to do this. At first, I clamped a long piece onto a long piece of wood so I could hold it at a distance, but the clamp wasn't strong enough to hold it against the chainsaw. So I very tentatively held it with my hands instead, and it still wasn't enough. So in the ultimate move of trust, we got rid of the board too, and each of us had to hold on to either end of it. Our expert chainsaw cutter made the cut right down the middle, and no fingers were lost, so that was great. But yeah, I think the results are worth it. Maybe not if we lost a finger, but anyways, let's now power on to 
Number five, selling. Okay, look, I know I said donating Flego is bad, and by all accounts, making money off doing so seems a whole lot worse, but hear me out. If you are deliberately deceiving people, making them think that they're buying genuine Lego, especially at that higher price, and they don't realize until it's too late, Bruh. that's just scummy. I can understand if a handful of fake pieces slip into a big bag of official Lego. I mean, that's how we got all this junk, but if over 50% of it's fake without that being made clear from the get-go, just stop. I do acknowledge, however, that there are weirdos out there that actually like garbage like this. They've probably been screaming at me in the comments for five minutes by now. If you can find someone willing to buy your truthfully advertised Flego, by all means do it. You can make some money and they, I'm not sure exactly what they get out of it, but you both benefit. It's like a, a symbiotic relationship. Ship. It's kind of boring to, you know, watch someone buy this off of the internet. So we've got some real spectacles sitting in the final four. Starting with acid vaporization. <laughs> Sorry, I just really wanted to give this vinegar a chance. It's it's not looking like it's gonna- Anyways, on to the actual Number four fire. This was probably near the top of the priority list when mankind invented fire So it's near the top of this list too. I mean, it's just too much fun watching Flego slowly melt into oblivion laughing in the face of their cheap ugly suffering Whoa. Sorry about that. I got a bit carried away there You know, this isn't the weirdest thing we've incinerated in this fire pit Anyways, we had some fun roasting marsh flegos over the campfire, and I also wanted to try boiling some bricks alive, so I tried this makeshift stove out. It didn't really work, more so just ruined the jar. The fire was dying down at this point, and I don't think it was hot enough to make a difference. We'll, we'll have to save that idea for next time, maybe. So for now, let's move straight on to... Number three, lasers. Now wait a minute, wait a minute. This is not gonna be another acid situation where I go, Oh, this laser looks cool. Too bad I don't have one. Well, I mean, I I don't have a real laser, but I know a guy that does. This is my friend AT. He has a YouTube channel where he does some crazy stuff with his CNC laser burning machine. He's burnt through marshmallows, pencils, hot dog buns, a sock. If there was anyone who could do this idea justice, it's him. All right, welcome, AT. Tell us a little bit about your channel. Hey guys, yeah, I'm AT from CNC at Home. Our channel is all about doing uh, CNC stuff at home. You kind of get that from the title. We have a couple small CNC machines we use. We have our CNC router, this is 3018 Pro. And then we have our LE 5040 laser engraver. It's a five and a half watt LED laser and uh, we burn stuff. And today we are going to be burning Flego. Yeah. So out of the pieces we brought with, AT chose this white brick as a test dummy to calibrate the laser. We had no idea what would happen, but it worked surprisingly well. Our goal now was to burn a hole straight through a brick. So we put our safety glasses on, cranked up the power on the laser, and watched it go. Not only were we able to cut this massive slit in the side of it, but the laser actually went through the slit, even cutting off one of the little tubes on the inside. Take that, clutch powers, or whatever the knockoff version is. Now, it was time for the ultimate test. Can this laser cut a Flego brick in half? We chose the thinnest, shortest piece we had. AT programmed the laser to give it everything it had left. We waited, and waited, and waited. After over 15 minutes and a few false alarms, this happened. It worked. We finally did it. AT's laser successfully snapped this piece of junk in two. So to celebrate, we decided to try just one more. This time, we wouldn't be destroying the Lego physically. We'd be doing it emotionally. To add insult to injury, I asked AT to burn the word bad onto this last brick in Comic Sans font, of course. So it would be permanently engraved in there because, you know, it's it's bad. And this is the fruit of our labors. We've cut the inner tube of one of them, split one brick clear in half, and written on this brick exactly what it is. This is awesome. Thank you so much, AT, for having us over and Absolutely. cutting this stuff up with us. Guys, be sure to check him out at CNC at Home. Well, that was fun, but you know it's even more fun? Okay, l last time, I promise. The vinegar has been completely defective at disintegrating this brick for over 24 hours now. So I'm gonna add some baking soda to the mix. It's not gonna help in the slightest. I just, I just want it to look cool. Well, that did look kind of cool, but actually, AT had some spare acetone lying around, as you do, so he kindly donated us some to help us step up this pathetic site right here. Unlike vinegar, acetone actually vaporizes plastic, so this should be much cooler. 
Okay, wow. Vinegar, you're still horrible, <laughs> but at least this idea has been completely redeemed. We have a lot of plastic in this room that I don't want vaporized, however, so let's get this stuff as far away as possible from here. Moving on to something that's even more volatile than acetone, number two, explosions. For our annual buck frenzy we can hang out with friends, we like to use tannerite, a safe, legal explosive that we can trigger from a distance. We find all sorts of wacky things on the tannerite to be blown to smithereens over the years, water jugs, watermelons, a cardboard armadillo costume, an empty turtle shell. It's a ridiculous amount of fun. This year, it was especially fun because I brought a handful of Flego to be sent to Kingdom Come as well. Three, two, one. Now that was satisfying to watch. This was all we could find of the pieces afterwards, so I think this was a job well done. But you know what the number one best way to destroy fake Lego is? Number one, just throw them away. That's right, you don't need any fancy lasers, explosions, acid, or power tools to get rid of your Lego. Just throw it away. You're a piece of plastic. You were made to be thrown away. When you have as much of it as we began the video with, then maybe finding some alternative disposal methods would be a good idea. But if you come across just one or two in a bag of used Lego, tossing them is really the most effective use of your time. You could also make a game of it. After all of our antics today, we've got quite the glory haul of destroyed Flego here. and we actually only have 10 left. So I'm gonna see how many I can get in the trash bin on the other side of the room. While I do that, I wanna thank you very much for watching. This video took a ton of time and effort to make, so please, if you have a minute, comment below with your favorite way to destroy fake Lego. And remember to check out AT's behind the scenes video for our laser burning shenanigans. Go subscribe to him too if you're interested in that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool to see what he can do over there. Like and subscribe to this channel if you wanna see more videos like this, and we'll see you next time. Is that like one? Were you trying to miss?